Hello, this is the lesson for Sunday School for January 24th. It is for pre-K, kindergarten, first, and second graders. So it's great that you are on um, watching the Sunday School lesson for this morning, um, no matter what time you're watching it. So we are starting a new story. We're starting the story of Jonah and the whale. And you should have with you the supplies you need is the January 24th baggie. And you can have a knife or some kind of spreader and um, a napkin. So in our Bible story today, Jonah tries to run away from the job that God wants him to do. And a fish ends up being one of God's helpers. How do you think an animal can help God? Hmm. Well, we're going to find that out. What are some things that animals do to help people? Do you know? Right, there are service dogs that help people um, see. It, there, they also can, dogs are used to go um, visit people who are sick or the elderly who are in nursing homes or care facilities because that you know, dogs bring you such joy, right? There's also um, dogs and other animals can be used um, to help with emotional support. Think of horses from a long time ago. Horses helped people travel to different places. Horses helped in the farm fields and other, you know, pulling farm equipment. So there's a lot of things that animals do. And animals just bring joy, right? Joy, all kinds of animals do. So before we hear the story, we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game and talk about the story of Jonah and the big fish. So after you hear the story, you'll be excited to know that God makes sure good things happen. And since it's a fish story, I have a little test for you. So I want you to stand up, okay? And I'm going to say some words. And if you think it's a fish, stay standing. If you don't think it's a fish, I want you to sit down, okay? So, walleye. If you think it's a fish, stand up. If you think it's a, or keep standing. Stay standing. If you think it's not a fish, sit down. All right, a walleye is a fish. Good job for those st standing. Okay, next one. Perch. Is a perch a fish? Stand up. If you think it's a fish, sit down. No, not a fish. A perch is a fish. All right, next one. Wide mouth mosh. A wide mouth mosh. Is it a fish or not? It is not a fish. If you sat down, good job. All right, an eel pout. Is an eel pout a fish? Yes, it is. Yes, good job. All right, a leviathan. Is a leviathan a fish? If you're standing, you are right. It is a fish. What about a platypus? Is a platypus a fish? No, it's not. If you're sitting, good job. And the last one is guppy. Is a guppy a fish? Yes, if you're standing, you are right. A guppy is a fish. So the fish in the Jonah story is usually called a Leviathan in the Bible. So that's a good trivia question for you to remember. The fish in the Jonah story is usually called a Leviathan in the Bible. But sometimes people say it was a whale. The best answer, though, is that it was a big, big fish, right? So let's hear the story of Jonah. So open your Bibles to the story of Jonah 
it's on page 190, 190, 190. So why don't you pause the video and find the story. All right. So I um, will read the story to you and you can follow along. But who has ever been around a place where fish are being cleaned? Or who can tell us what fish smell like? Do they smell like flowers? They're stinky, aren't they? Yes, yeah, stinky. I can always tell when my husband has been fishing and touching lots of fish or cleaning fish because he comes home and he just smells like fish. P-U, P-U. Okay, well, while you listen to this story, I want you to imagine all the smells and the sounds, especially when the fish comes into the story, okay? All right, so follow along with me. One day when Jonah was just minding his own business, God spoke to him. Jonah, God said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and tell the people that I know they aren't living the way I want them to. I want them to change their ways. Jonah may have started with the right idea, but once he started walking, Jonah began thinking about what a long walk it was to Nineveh. Hmm, Jonah thought, I don't really want to go to Nineveh. I'll go the other way. God will never know. So Jonah walked and walked away from Nineveh. When Jonah got to the sea, he paid to get onto a boat to take him even farther away. Oh, Jonah yawned. All that walking made me tired. I'm going to take a nap. Hey, you can turn the page. Jonah curled up on the pile of rope and fell asleep. But God saw Jonah. Whoosh! God sent a strong wind that tossed the ship to and fro. The sailors were so afraid that they started throwing things overboard to make the boat lighter and save themselves. The sailors worried, what's going on? They woke Jonah up. God is mad at me for not listening, Jonah said, so throw me overboard. And they did. Suddenly, the sea was calm again. Look out, Jonah. Here comes a big fish. Goop, goop, goop. The fish swallowed Jonah, and Jonah sat inside the dark, smelly fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed, help me, God. I'm sorry. Finally, the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. Trudge, trudge, trudge. Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the people what God had said, and they believed him and changed the way they were living. God was happy that the people of Nineveh were not living as God wanted. So that ends our story. So what did Jonah do when God asked him to go to Nineveh? Right. He started kind of going towards Nineveh, right? But then he changed his mind and he went the other way and got on a boat. So what happened when Jonah took a nap on the boat? Right, the God, God made the wind, or God made the wind rock the boat back and forth, and Jonah thought it was his fault. What do you think it was like inside of the fish? Do you remember when I talked to you about smelly? Probably it was smelly, right? Smelly. What I wonder what it sounded like being inside of the fish. I wonder what Jonah did for food and sleep. Hmm. Well, in the end, in the end, Jonah told the people of Nineveh about God. 
and the people changed their ways. And God was happy. When Jonah remembered this story later, how do you think he felt about what he did? Hmm? Yeah, he probably felt sad that at first he didn't listen to God, right? But then he was glad that God, you know, still trusted him and that he believed in him and that he went and um, went to Nineveh to share the good news of God with Nineveh. So let's take our babies, all right? And we're gonna make little cookies. We're gonna spread our blue frosting. So this will be like our water. We're gonna spread that onto our cookie. And then we're going to pretend our gummy bear is Jonah, and we're gonna put him on top of the cookie, like he's floating in the water, right? Or are you guys gonna make him float? Are you gonna put him down like he's floating? Or are you gonna maybe make it look like he's diving into the blue frosting? You can do however you want, or you can do whatever you want. So why don't you pause the video, and you can take some time Frosting your cookie. Okay, and then putting Jonah on top. All right, I let me say, I hope um, you had fun frosting your cookies. I'd love to see them. See what you did with Jonah. If he's just floating, relaxing on the water, or if you have him pretending to dive, or walk on the water who knows so i hope you enjoyed doing that so let us say a prayer and then you can enjoy your cookies so you can repeat after me dear god help us to listen to you thank you for listening to us amen all right thank you so much for being with me and we'll see you next week for sure. Have a great day. Bye-bye.